All right, beautiful people, let's go over our passive and active transport, okay? Passive transport on the left, active transport on the right. Now, let me use text, okay? Passive transport, no what? No energy. Passive transport, high, oh no. High to what? Come on, high to what? High to low, right? Some guilty now to spell. L O W. Good. Blank the concentration gradient. Remember, passive transport always goes with the concentration gradient, right? With, from high to low, or down, you could say it's downhill. Three types of passive transport. What are the three types of passive, passive transport? We got simple diffusion. And then we have osmos, osmosis. Remember, this is all high to low. Osmosis is specifically water only. And the last one is facilitated, F-A-S-C-I-L-L-I-T-A-T, -L -L facilitated what? Facilitated what? Diffusion. Good. Active transport, right? Needs energy in the form of ATP, right? This goes from low to high, and this goes Remember, low to high, and this goes against the concentration gradient, right? We remember that. I know you do. Now, what do we have for three types of active transport? We have what they call pumps. Remember those like sodium pumps that we talked about that pump the molecules across the membrane? The next one is endocytosis, right? That is entering the endocytosis, entering the cell. And the next one is exocytosis. That is leaving the cell. All right, beautiful people, there we have it. In a nutshell, how active and passive transport works. I did want to show you one more quick thing here. Uh, about this cell. Remember the cell, that's the onion cell. How do you think you could draw the onion cell, beautiful people, if we added salt water to this onion cell? Think about it for a few seconds, right? So remember, it has a, 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 uh, an onion is a plant, so it has a cell wall. And on the inside, just on the inside, it has a cell membrane. So it's like a cell wall, remember, because remember, plant cells are very rigid. So they have a cell wall, like a tree. A tree cell is very rigid, right? It's a cell wall and a, and a cell membrane. Now you add salt water to it, 40%. What's gonna happen to the water inside this cell membrane? We got tons of salt out here, salt water, right? The concentration of the salt water is lower than the concentration of the cell because salt water has less water and more salt than the, cell, the, the water inside the cell. So I totally drew this wrong. I'm, I'm just showing this. The water leaves the cell, right? So after the water leaves the cell, what happens? How do you draw that? You draw it like this. I'm just gonna show you real quick, okay? But I think it's important because there might be a couple of open response questions that you guys are gonna to have to, oh, I got it right here. How do you draw the cell after? You draw the cell wall and you draw a shrunken inner membrane because all the water that was in here has left. So here's the cell wall, CW, and here's the C membrane, CM. Um, beautiful, all right? I will see you guys after the exit ticket.
You have to do the exit ticket on your own this time. And it's going to be great. Okay. So I'm not going to go over the exit ticket. You're going to have, you're going to do that on your own. And that is going to be graded for this week. And we'll go over it in class. Okay. You guys are awesome. Let me know if you have any questions, text me, email me, call me, send me a balloon. I don't know. Love you guys. Talk to you later.